It's our cover to call upon the Mar de Asra of uh, Congregation of Israel, Rav Hersha Walter, to give us the very chizuk. Rav Hersha Walter. A sorely of a time when millions of Jews stand in Sakono. And that's just the people that are behind the front lines. And those that stand at the front line, those that have entered Aza every second, their life is Besakono. And his story is Lashem Alokeno. If there's such a long and difficult history of Klaus Yisrael, why the Rabbani Shalom again places us in this situation is an historic Lashem Elokeinu. That escapes us, or we cannot put our arms around it. But we have to focus instead in such a time of what we can accomplish. That's what we have to focus. Why the Rabbani Shalom does what he does. Why the Rabbani Shalom does what he does is beyond us. Well, how we should respond to that which the Rabbeinu Shalom does, that's within our grasp. The Chesem Seifer is Droshes. It's a Seifer of Droshes, the Chesem Seifer. And he dwells on the Aftarah that we read on the second day of Rosh Hashanah from the Novi and Yirmiyoh. And there the Novi and Yirmiyoh writes first to Shovu Me'eretz Oyev, that Claudius all will return from the land of our adversaries, our enemies. And that, as we know, the Apostle goes down with Shavu Vonim Ligvulam. And the Chassam Seifer ponders what's the distinction between these two statements of the Noah Yirmiya. Based on the Rambam in the parish of Mishnayis, the Chassam Seifer writes that there will be a massive ingathering of Jews, Al Adma Sakoidesh, before the advent of Mashiach Tzidkenu. And that's for Shavu Meyeretz Oyev will be Zeichet to come back from living under the domination of the non Jewish nations of the world. But yet, what will be lacking? What will be lacking is the Migdash. The Beis Migdash will not have been built. And what do we need to effectuate the Binyan Migdash? The Chassam Seifer writes, Ra'i Bishur and Melech, Bis Asif Rosh Yom Yachat Shifte Yisroel. When we draw together Ba'achtus and we bury the Sinaschinam, the bane of Jewish history, then we'll be Zaycha, the Shavuvonim Ligvulam, that the Shechina will reveal itself and the Migdash will be built. That era, which the Heilig Sefer, 175 years ago, described that millions of Jews would live on Admas HaKadosh. And yet, there would be no base on Migdash. And we're waiting for the advent of that Migdash. We stand in between those two statements. We show them that the Rabbi Shalom Bechastoy has granted us. But we show them that the Gilish Shechina, the revelation of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Binyan HaMigdash, that's what we await. In between, exactly in between the two points, the Chassam Sefer defines, that's where we stand. One thing that we've accomplished, and even if it's only temporarily so, is significant. That was the sole time in the 40 years in the Midbar that Klau Yisrael was united. And at that moment, we were Zeichet to Kabbalah Satur. There's no other Masa where we stood so together. So despite the fact that it was short-lived, but we achieved it, HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, we're zeicha, we're worthy to receive the Rabbi Nishalaylam's Torah. To resolve a fractiousness, Lailam Vod, that's a nest that's beyond us. But at least the Shaito, even if for a small time, we're able to push it aside and pull ourselves together that's worthy before the Rabbanishallah that brought us to Kabbalah Satayr. 
the achdus that we've seen in the last month or so in Klau Yisrael, unfortunately, under the threat of the grave Taurus that we face, but the obliteration of all lines, Svardim, Ashkenazim, Haredim, Nish Haredim, Alt Botel Givon. What's significant is that we stand united in caring and concern for each other, united in pouring out our hearts before the Rabbeinu Shalom, that has taken place. And that achdus, that unity, and that's chus, perhaps, we can yet be zoicha, the Rishav of Onim Lugvulam, the Chedach Sam Seifer writes. We have to understand, we read this morning the first of the Haftaris of the three weeks. Yermiah was a prophet of doom. He lived in the generation of the Churban Amigdash. And the Rabbi Shalom charged him with the responsibility of informing Klal Yisrael of the impending Churban Amigdash. And Yermio is biting in his harsh in his Navua. The last psukim that we read this morning, the Rabbi Shalom tells Yermio, after you've spoken of the doom, Go forth in the streets of Yerushalayim and proclaim. At this moment that I condemn you to the Churban Amigdash, but I remember Chesed Nurayach Lechtech Acharai Midbar, how you followed after me with Amuna in the Midbar, in the door of Moshe Rabbeinu. And how does the Novi end? You have adversaries that will destroy the Migdash, that will destroy the first Jewish commonwealth. But the Rabbi Nishalaylam has not rejected Klau Yisrael. Those that will bring that fate upon you, I will not forgive them, the Rabbi Nishalaylam says. They themselves, in turn, will be destroyed. At the moment of the Midas Adin, and Yemiyo comes to claim, proclaim the culmination of the Midas Adin, the Migdash will be destroyed in his lifetime. But in his first Nevua ends, the Ava, the Chiba, that the Rabbeinu Shalom has for Klau Yisrael. In Mizbar Kuf Lamet, Ends who yiftes Yisroel mikoyel avayno Yisov, and the Radak writes that David Amelach addresses in this pasuk that how is it conceivable that the Rabbeinu Shalaylam will be har be'imay fedus that the Rabbeinu Shalaylam will see for bring forth the redemption of Klal Yisroel? What's the problem? Vani malay avayn. I'm sinful. Am I righteous before the Rabbeinu Shalom? And therefore, how is it conceivable that we merit that the Rabbeinu Shalom should stand by us? It's true, the Rabbeinu Shalom wants to, but are we deserving? And Dabar HaMelech tells us, is betchila yifta isay me'ava noisov. Bechesed Hashem, the Rabbeinu Shalom will redeem us first from our chaton. And after that, we will merit the Harba Imai Fadus, that the Rabbeinu Shalom will redeem the Jewish people. The Ava, the love that the Rabbeinu Shalom has for Klaal Yisrael is such that even if we appear before the Rabbeinu Shalom, we're unworthy. But the Rabbeinu Shalom has promised to Yiftes Yisrael Mikhail Abana Yisav. They'll redeem us from all of our chaton. We come together tonight to be Mispalom. Focus is so important when it comes to tefillah. The Gemara in Megillah states, Daf Yudalit, the Daf Yudalit will stop, will be there any day, Daf Yudalit and Megillah. Then at the door of the Churban, they said to Chulda Hanavia that she should be mispalo, to spear the base of Migdash. And this, in a certain regard, was considered inappropriate because Yirmiyo was the greatest Novi of his time. And how did they ask Chulda Hanaviyah to be Mispalo for them? 
And the Mora states that since Chuldor was related to Yirmiyo, he wasn't Makbid, he had no pedus. But what did they want? If Neshan Noshim Rachmonius and the Mephorshim tell us that as much as Yirmiyo mourned the Churban Amigdash, and Yirmiyo proclaimed that Yoshio would die a gruesome death, Vayoyru Hayoyrim, as we read on Tishabov, hundreds of arrows pierced his body. And Yirmiyo says his death was peaceful as compared to my life, because I witnessed the Chorban of the Migdash. And yet, Chulda Hanaviyah, because Noshim Rachmaniyah, this woman, are more emotional. And there'll be more emotion in her tefillah, even than in the tefillah <coughs> of Yirmiyo. It was worth going to Chulda Hanaviyah, because perhaps her tefillah could spare the Migdash even more so than the tefillah of the great Yirmiyo. The focus, the regish that we bring to the tefillah makes the entire difference. Yermio certainly would have poured out his heart <coughs> without limitation. And yet Chulda perhaps could be a little bit more passionate by her nature. And that could effectuate the difference in the salvation of the Migdash. Kach shamati memori v'rabi agurn of henov zatzal. And I'll end with a medrash. The medrash is in Yalkut Shemaini. Perak Samach. The Medrash states <coughs> that in the time that Mashiach Tzitkenu comes, 140 Maluchas, nations of the world, will rise up against them. The situation will be so frightening and overwhelming for Mashiach Tzitkenu that the Rabbeinu Shalom will come and tell the Mashiach himself, Al Tira, do not be afraid. Mashiach comes, the Rabbeinu Shalom sends him. The isolation, the loneliness of Klau Yisrael is such that Mashiach will almost be overwhelmed. And the Rabbi Shalom has to come and tell him, Al Tira, do not be afraid. I will give you the power to destroy the enemies of Klau Yisrael. We live in that era, Rabbi Yisai, of Iqvus the Mashiach. And we understand the bedidus, the loneliness of Klau Yisrael. No one in the world is concerned but they open arms that they shoot 1,000, 2,000 missiles at millions of Yidin, three and a half million Yidin stand under the threat of those missiles. The world, no huge outcry in the world about it. A few Palestinian children killed on the beach is in the headlines of every newspaper in the world. We stand only with the Rabbeinu Shalom, not with the world. And it's difficult to be isolated, but we're not alone. al the Rabbeinu Shalom proclaims. The Rabbeinu Shalom is with us. He stands ready to accept that filas. He stands ready to accept the achtas. May the Rabbeinu Shalom grant that we see the core of Chastai as a Shechina's Mofia, and it brings the Tzachon and Yeshua's for Klau Yisrael and the Tzachos of Tfilas Arabim. A good day, Rabbi Yisrael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Welcher. We're going to ask from Rabbi Schoenfeld to read a bit of Tehillim. Uh, this Tehillim is actually not in the sheets that we have. It's uh, Pegimo, right? We're going to ask for Rabbi Schoenfeld to please uh, do Pegimo. Fuck 
ונחכי די מגי, ולא יזוכר שם ישראל אה. הנה אצול את יחדיו, עולך אברס יחרוסו. Ve <laughs> Kisisrochi Yavin Benachal Kisha Nishmudu Ve'endor Ha'yudai Men Lo Adamo Shiseimo Nidiveimo Ke'orad Buchi Gizev Uchizev Ochol Kitzal Mona Kol Nesicheimo Shalom <laughs> Sarechavusufasachasivhalei. <laughs> Rav Peretz time, we will be reading the last bit of Tehillim on all the sheets that we have. Shemecho, 
מי יכתירו צדיקים כי סגמוי לא לא To conclude the evening, we're going to ask for Mr. Rabbi Newman to uh, just say um, words of ending, I guess. There was a time where Jews got very, very scared. And they came to New York and they left. They left Montreal, they went to Toronto. It's very, very frightening to be scared. We even had to show they're also petrified. You know, if these women whose husbands are, the, are, are, are over there in the army, they were to come here, they would beg you. They would say, listen, we don't have money, but you have money, but Hashem, to look at that to the movies. I don't want to be in a corner. I don't want to be in a corner. I don't want my children to be his slime. Give to the clear. Give to look at the Rabbi Shmuchir. There is no suffix that that's what they would beg you. So we decided that we live here in Kew Garden Hills, so we're going to dedicate this evening to Yeshiva Tver Smeisha. And if we have to get, we'll get together, we're going to have programs every month, every week we'll be a different Yeshiva. A month ago I was at a dinner, I was at a dinner for Yeshiva Katana, and they don't have money. In Colombia they have millions! In NYU they have millions! In Harvard they have millions! In parochial school, there are millions. We have to make sure that every Moisad Atoyde should also have millions. That no Rosh Hashiva should have to go and be afraid that he can't meet a table. We all live here, it has to be one for all, all for one. And we'll dedicate these Mishibas to the Heilige Moisad this year. I push it back everybody. You know, Arabs give, you know how much they give? You want to know how much you're worth? Look how much they want to spend just to hurt us. Look how much they want to spend. What happens to most of their money? This is just a fraction of the money, but it doesn't speak about the money that are, all of them are on the payroll, all, of, all these terrorists. In 2012, the PA found that funds paid over 75 million to terrorists in Israeli prisons, and 78 million to the families of these seized terrorists, including suicide bombers. 16% of the annual foreign donations and grants to the PA budget. 150 million! That's excluding to the, to the soldiers that they pay. Just, just this is the goal, this is the goal. I wanna beg you to, I wish I wanna beg you, I wanna beg you, to give to Dukkha. Everybody, then why not listen? And we're going to give this week, we're going to give to Tver Smoisha. The next Mesibah will be for the Hadi Mesyaku and all the Yeshivas here in Hadi Kuchubis Haim, in Sheva, in Ismalka. I push and beg you to give us money. You have to have, you have to have the shyest. We need a lot of citizen. It is well worth it to say over the Yashalmi because, because at the end of the day, is that's the key to Ayid's Koy Chatfilin. The Koy Chatfilin is the efficacy of his Kedisha Zapeh. 
Bill of Rosh wanted to throw out the boot of Medusha, but Hashem said no. The Yushami says in Pai Adal the Rebais, by Dovid Amelech, you should know, and he won all the wars. He won every war, you should know. But the good is that the Yushami says, since they spoke, Rechidus and the family of Rosh Hashem, Oh, you know if in your shalom, he uses the word noifim, know they fell. They died! They died! He said to your shalom, a little further later, later on, about the door of Achov, was also a melech. And they did a very zuna, they did a very zuna, they did a very zuna, the three of the three chomra babies. And this mashup of your shalom, not only did he win, but it's difficult to say he did not lose he didn't lose any men. And the Yishalmi says because they did not speak of the Chivis and the Zman of Achim. That's blatant that that is the key. That is the key to a Yi. The whole Yi, the Yi, the Jew, is his power of Kiddush and his pen. Everything is done with his pen. We dive and we make Kaddish. Everything. I do a Everything with a pen. So we'll make a kabula. We have to make a kabula. That's the key. Hashem wants a kabula from every day, a new kabula. In Moidan, we end up Shechazar, the Binish Musi, the Chem, the Rabba, Minus Echel. Who has a minute in who? Do we say we have a minute in Hashem or the reverse? It's the reverse. Hashem says, I know you, I made you, I know your potential, I have a minute in you. Forget about yesterday. Let's start fresh. Give me a production. Let's start fresh. Let's start fresh. Rabbi Gedi was here once in Queens. He has a kasha, a very big kasha. He has the Gemuni says that the bias, called, the bias was nechav because of sin is chinam. So he asked the question, nobody hates another person b'chinam. There's always a sibir why he doesn't like him. So why does the Gemuni use it sin is chinam? So he said like this, any negative occurrence that happens to a person, who is the one that made that happen? Hashem. It's beginning that you dislike this person. Had Hashem not sent them to you, it could have never happened. Listen, what is that to say? With a very, very big eye sweater. In Paris, you should know they tried to storm a Bismedrish. No idea the 200 billion of the Snedrish. All over Europe, Europe, Jews are Jews just like us are petrified. They're afraid to send the children to Yeshiva. They're afraid to go on the subway. My son had a kabuz in his paper when his father wants a, his father has a rich girl and his sister didn't go to Yeshiva. Because she was petrified. They're petrified that they're gonna throw them on the subway. And he does a kayak. You know, the Chubitz Chaim, the Chubitz Chaim said that a year here in Dublin, he learned Torah and there'll be Matzah, a Jew from Paris, and doing the Bible. The only way that that could happen, the only way that that could happen, you should know, is with a conditions of pen. Without a person working on the fact that he's going to minimize speaking against another Jew, how could that work? The Heilige of the Kiva, 24,000 Tamirim, and they were all naked one by one. And who knew more Torah than them? And the Kabuddin Yavuma says they were all naked because of Askar. That's the key! Chesel the Ambis, Yechabri Uvay. Rabbi Kron quoted it out. He called it an Orechaim HaKudosh. That's the Mavish, Mavish, unbelievable. The Chaim HaKudosh says, if you're going to go with me, Bekeri, I'm going to go with you, Bekeri. Says the Orechaim HaKudosh. And what will happen? So what will happen is I will allow your enemies to kidnap you. Which mitzvah is the mitzvah that Archana Kudish was referring to? That's the key. That's the mitzvah that a person has to do with his mouth. The commonality between a Jew, a Yid, and a Shem is the conditions of hell. It is worth it to say over the Gemur in Sanhedrin, in the Mechamas of Ai, when 36 Jews died, they died! And Hashem said to Yeshua, you know why? Somebody took from the booty. And Yeshua says to Hashem, who took from the booty? And Hashem said, I don't speak who should know it. Now who is Hashem saying that to? To himself? He 
Jesus people to us. We have to love Jews. The goal is to love Jews like your Shmuel hates us. Heilige Beshef, when we came over here to this Besmedrish, who here doesn't want to bring your nafis? Everybody here wants to bring your nafis. Give us another chance. Give us all another chance. You're going to see, you're going to do much better. Give us a bruche and teure. Give us a bruche and panusa. Give us a bruche and chesa. Give us the greatest bruche of shulim puri chato Hashem. Hashem says, I'm a puri chesam so When will I bless you? You Jews, when will I bless you? My children, you know when? But shulim, if you're going to love one another. Then I'll be puri chato Hashem and puri chesam or so When? It depends on us. Then a year for Shais. Then it'll be Harchev Pichu Bamalai. Shtak be Zoycha, the producer of the Bursh, my kid is Hashem, the Bursh of Shisei and us, and we should be Zoycha, Yisma Hashem and Maso. I want to ask, beg everybody, if you could just write a check. Yeshiva Tveris Moshe, Echad Amadre, Echad Amadre, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference, I beg you. We'll show the Rebbeisha one by one, one by one. This is what we do. We want to support your hiding your Moses. We love Rebbeim, we love Rebbeim, we love Rashi Shigas. They deserve to be the millionaires. Because without them, we're poverty stricken. And then for Shtais, and Shman will open up all the oitzes. All the oitzes. And we open up all the oitzes. And we'll be able to say, my God, how this will be mine. I get it. Okay. Sure. Rabbi, just two very quick announcements. Whoever wasn't here last week, not here in uh, the kinnis we had, we announced that we were going to be signing on a piece of paper that will be going a letter to the three families of Gilad, Eyal, and Naftali, Hashem, and Kondamam. We could get as many people from the community to sign on to them. Rabbi Akhavitz has the papers of here. Uh, Rabbi Akhavitz actually is going to Eric's show on Sunday, so everyone wants to do Shayat Mitzvah, leave them money as well. And uh, to, uh, there are RCDs from Rabbi Krohn outside, free of charge, amazing share about how we can make the world a better place. And last announcement is that next week on Sunday, there will be the first uh, gathering, I guess, of Arab Rosh that we'll be organizing in order to show Kaddish Baruch Hu that our achzus does not depend on tragedies, we're going to be taking upon ourselves to be united. Having our Rosh Chodesh, our first event will be in Taurus Emmets, Rabbi Gladstein Shul. The guest speaker will be Rabbi Mordechai Becker. And uh, details will be uh, emailed and, and flyers will be put up everywhere. Please come and show your support. Thank you very much and have a great month.